Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Earthbound. In the last episode, we were able to climb the Monotoli building and finally rescue Paula, so now finally my favorite member of the team is back. My favorite because she has all these really nifty PSI attacks. Um, so in this episode, well, we made our way back to three because I guess our ultimate destination is winters. But first we, or summers actually, but um, apparently we need to go through three. And I think we do have to go to Winners because we need to talk to Jeff's dad about, well, something. Um, so let's see, there's a place where we landed, um, well, where Jeff landed. Yeah, I think it was here, right? Can we go in? There was a place when Jeff landed in that little, like, UFO thing. Can I check it? No. I thought that was kind of where it was supposed to go. Where the thing, the thing crashed. Oh, but... Oh, yeah, oh, it's it's the camera guy, right? Yeah, it's been a while since it's been a while since we've had a picture taken actually. It's been a few episodes, I think. All right. Fuzzy pickles. I really wish the other two would pose for the picture too. Okay, but anyway, that's uh that. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like the little staircase or something down here, right? No. Am I remembering wrong? Hmm. I know we're supposed to go... I know we're supposed to find where Jeff's little UFO thingy... Oh, there's stairs right here, duh. Okay, well, that's that. Alright, so let's keep going down here. They go so slow down the stairs. Okay, so, um, yeah, do you guys have anything? They painted over... Oh, is this Orange Kid and Apple Kid? This is Orange Kid and Apple Kid, right? Yeah, I guess... Right? No? No, they're just two guys. Oh, right, no, this is a full-grown guy. Sorry, it's not Orange Kid and Apple Kid. They are wearing, like, orange and red, but... Alright, um, yeah, so let's go check this spaceship thingy. Here's the problem, and it's not too tough to fix. I guess that's Jeff who's fixing it. Okay, there. That should do it. Okay, I guess we gotta go back to Winters. Um, are you calling him Doc- I swear that's Jeff's dad, right? Right? Dr. And Donuts is Jeff's dad? He calls him Dr. And Donuts. Maybe he's not Jeff's dad, or maybe it's just like, because he's, like, they're so professional about things in that fam- Yeah, there we go, there we go! Ha, dad, I mean Dr. And Donuts. There we go. Maybe he just doesn't want you to know. Maybe he just doesn't want you to know that Dr. And Donuts is his dad. I'm not sure why. Security reasons? I don't know. But anyway, let's watch this little spaceship thing fly. There we go! Whee! Clouds. Getting ready to land now, I guess. Mm -hmm. Going over the desert. Okay, I guess we're not quite ready to land. Because we're in a desert. That's pretty far off from winters. I guess we're just taking the scenic tour. We're like dipping down. Just to, to see some of the sights. This song ha- this music has kind of a The Who kind of vibe, honestly. I don't know what, what makes me think that. Maybe just because I listened to a couple of their songs not too long ago and this kind of reminds me of a little keyboard sounding. There we go, we're in the lab now. Oh, it's the monkeys. The bubble monkeys. Or... Monkey. And his girlfriend. Alright. Okay. Thanks for taking- Oh, husband! Oh, you're- Oh, you're married now. Okay. 
Thanks. Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. Yeah, Bubble Monkey, you abandoned me in my time of need. Um, they, they just call it Stonehenge, really? Okay, so we have to go to that cave. Yeah, that's a hint right there. There's that... Yeah, and you're not gonna help me. Thanks, Bubble Monkey. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, but anyway, that's, um, there is a cave up over in the Stonehenge area. I kind of avoided it before because there were a lot of strong enemies. But apparently we do need to go there now that we have Ness. But first we must talk to Doctor and Donuts. I don't remember what voice I gave him, but he kind of looks like Albert Einstein. So whatever voice I gave him before, I'm going to try to... Gave him? Whatever voice I gave him before, I don't know. I'm just going to try an Einstein type of German. I don't know if I can do this, but I'm, I'm going to try my best. Oh, you surprised me. That was Scottish. Um... you Ness, aren't you? There we go. Jeff wants his... Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Even though I can't forgive you, you are like ten years old and you still wet the bed, really, Jeff. The bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I was turning a little French. I need to watch my accent there. I have known about it for a long time. It's turning French again. Come on, stay German. German. Think, think pretzels and other stereotypes. I don't know. The locals call this area Rainy Circle, but I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave. I, uh, uh, I understand. While you're checking out that place, I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, yes. Mine co-worker, Bigfoot, dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy, and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. Okay. Is this Bigfoot? Sorry about that. Um, ooh, yeah, there he sells stuff. Okay, but we don't have enough money. Unfortunately. Are we good on items? Ac yeah, uh, sorry for that German accent. I try to make things interesting, but but I'm not quite I'm not quite uh, masterful enough at controlling my voice to to do it and a great job of it. But you know, I'm trying. Voice acting is something I like to do for fun. I don't care if I'm not any good at it. It's just fun. Okay, so we could use a few more items, but I don't- we need to find, like, if there's an ATM machine or something to get some money. Oh, there's a present. Broken pipe. Okay. Is this one of those things that Jeff can fix? Let's see. Yeah. So let's give it to Jeff. I think that's- of course, we'd have to, like, sleep at a hotel, I think, before before he can fix it. Oh, well. Instant revitalizing device. Okay, good. This is, like, the equivalent of, um... That's, like, the equivalent of staying at a hotel. Okay, and we have a phone here we can save, okay. But... Um... There's no ATM, so we can't buy anything? I don't think we can sell anything either. Hmm. Yeah, I can't sell anything. Well, that's unfortunate. Wait, what was the one thing that was six? Cup of coffee. Um, it's better than nothing, so I'll buy one. Just so I have something to help me out. Alright. Um... Okay, one thing. I need to check my goods. I need to see if I have the Dragonite, and I don't. I need to go to the PC and withdraw my Dragonite. Ha ha ha. Alright, yes, I want to pick up stuff. No. No, 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 no. Darn it! Pick up, I... D I thought it meant that I... No, I got it mixed up. So I gotta tell him no, that I can't. I can't even foot the bill either. Now that I think about it. You know, I'm... I'm, I'm stuck, actually. Because they charge m to deliver stuff to me, too, don't they? I don't have enough money. Well, let's try. Delivery... Alright, there should be... 
There, oh, there was a bag of Dragonite. Um, let's see, we have anything else? Yeah, we can get that for Jeff. Okay. I think there's still a delivery charge, though, so if this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to travel all the way back to somewhere with an ATM. If that happens, I'll just cut it and just cut... Oops, sorry. I'll just cut back to... Yeah, I can't. <sighs> okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take the spaceship, if I can, or, do, or can I use telep- Can I use teleport? Well, actually, that wouldn't help, though, because then I'd still have to make my way over to Dr. and Donut's lab, and that would take too long. I can't take the spaceship, though. I can't take the spaceship back. No. Well, this is a pickle. Um... <sighs> yeah, and it's, re it's highly recommending me not to my, I have my guide out just so I don't get lost it's highly recommended that I do not teleport because as I suspected when I teleport back to winters I won't be anywhere I won't be anywhere near this whole Stonehenge area in the lab so let me think for a second um, maybe I don't need the Dragonite I hope. But it's telling me so much, as it's telling me that I need to be carrying the bag of Dragonite. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to my restore point. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna cut away. I'm gonna go back to my restore point because I can just do that. And then, um, I'll cut back when I'm back at Winners, okay? So just rewind, start over, Okay, now we should be all set. I went through, I got enough um, money from the ATM machine, and there we go. I have the bag of Dragonite. I got a couple other things I bought from Bigfoot, and I got the pencil eraser back because I believe there's going to be another pencil to be erased a little later. Also, I realized I had the for sale sign on Ness, so I could have... Um, I could have actually sold something to make money. Also, I re realized I have the non-stick frying pan, which I need to give to Paula, and then equip onto Paula. Let's see, weapon. Yeah, it's a nice little boost there. And actually, I guess while I'm at it, why don't I sell the... What was the one I had before? Whatever her last weapon was, which I just saw, but I forgot what it was. Um... Bionic Slingshot. Yeah, let's sell that one. Okay, but enough of this. We need to go check out something glowing in Stonehenge. Um, okay. Hello? Oh no, I gotta fight these people. Darn it. I don't want to fight you guys. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Let's just, can we just like defeat these guys easily? Because we have some kind of boss fight to go on. Darn it. We're gonna, like, try to kill Jeff. Ugh. I'm lowering my offense. Wait, was this name Mighty Bear 7? That's weird. It doesn't work on the cave boy. Just destroy the cave boy. 
thank you. Okay, well, to be fair, I wasn't paying much attention to the random encounters going on up here. But we have stuff that we can heal. So let's do that. I recovered 87 HP, so let's... Let's see, trout yogurt. Still not maxed out with your HP. Oh man, that was a lot. I could have done that. I could have used that. Alright, well I'm just gonna... Wait, let me check everybody's status. Okay, the other two are at full. So, I'll just heal. No, I mean life up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you mean I was right there? I gotta enter this little cave, I guess. I was right there when I had that random encounter, so I guess if it's any consolation, I was in the right spot. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the thing that I need to erase? But wait, this is an eraser. Can I erase the eraser? This isn't what I, where I'm supposed to be, is it? Is it? Is it? Um... Alright, well, let's... Sorry, I'm not sure what to make of this. Can't use the pencil eraser. That's weird. Where do we need an eraser eraser? Okay, but anyway. Clearly I'm not where I'm supposed to be if I can't get by here yet. So let's go back. No! You nasty bear. Ugh, mighty Bear 7. And Mighty, mighty Joe Young, wherever. Okay, good. That was easy enough that time. Okay, now let's get out of here before the cave guys see- Alright, is it this cave that we- I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be in a cave- Oh no, this is the- This is the- Yeah, here we go! This glowing spot. Alright, alright. Um... Okay. Let's talk to it. You finally got here. This is the fourth year sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. I don't know what voice to give it, it's just a mysterious voice in the ether. And it's a mushroom man! The boss shroom. Okay. Um, I'm going to try flash. I don't remember what flash does, but... I know it's an attack in Smash Bros, so I'm gonna try that. And fire. And we're just gonna shoot him with Jeff. I mean, set a mushroom on fire seems like a good strategy. <sighs> Great. I- I knew one of them- oh, flash didn't work. Should I try it again? I don't know. But Paula has been mushroomized, which is not good at all. Because she's my most useful person. But we'll try to keep attacking with her while she can. Oh, Magnum air gun. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him numbed. All right, well let's just let's just bash him, I guess. And Paula before she becomes totally immobile. And Jeff. Okay, I see how this worked. I exit. Oh, you can. So that's what happened. I equipped this instead of what did I have equipped before? Hyper beam. I don't know. Of course you attack Ness. And of course you attack yourself, and of course you attack Jeff. Alright, I need to bash and use an item on myself. I can't use an item on myself. <sighs> Dang it. It's too late. Alright, um... Oh wait, it's Bottle Rocket that I wanted to use. There we go. Okay, so we got this shroom guy nice and weak. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to- Oh wait, can I use life noodles? I think that'll work, right? Yeah, and she's no longer mushroomized. All right. Okay, so now that Flash has him paralyzed, 
This guy's not so dangerous right now. So that's good. So it's just keep bashing away at him. Ah, he has freaking life up too. Alright. Um I should probably What does the bag of Dragonite do, by the way? I never did check. I don't want to use it, though. I'm afraid of using it. So, I was supposed to have it. I made this big deal about having it, and yet I'm afraid to use it because I'm not sure how to use it, and I don't want to waste it. All right, well, let's just keep bashing away. Unfortunately, Jeff can't do much right now. Okay, defeated Shroom! So I just noticed, I just noticed that's how his name was spelled. With, with extra and extra O and exclamation point. Shroom! And we're, we're leveling, ooh, Paula leveled up a couple levels. And Jeff leveled up, we all leveled up. All right, excellent. Okay, well that is that. Okay, looks like we're in the fourth year sanctuary location. Ooh, spacey melody. Ness caught a whiff of banana, ju but just for a second. Yay, banana. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the rainy circle. That is kind of cool. It's like rain, but just in one circle. Alright, so... Guess we need to return to the lab. There's still... Oh, there's a gator guy. Actually, I don't know why I wanted to start a fight with him. I really didn't. Crocodile. Well, at least I can use a surprise attack on him. And thunder miss. Just like in the Pokemon games, thunder is unreliable. What? Mortal damage to Paula? Ah, Paula's gonna collapse. No, drink, drink it. I don't know what it does. You, ah, it only does... Uh, I didn't know what the water did, and now Paula's dead. Great job! I should have- I could have picked another item, but I- the t clock was ticking. Do I have any more life noodles? No. Oh, I do! One more life noodles. Okay. <sighs> Freaking crocodile, man. Okay. So... I can't- do that eraser thing, because that's an eraser statue. But there is definitely supposed to be. Stop following me. I'll find the bears following me. Gotta fight these guys. There's definitely supposed to be a place where I can use. I just forget where. Where I can use the. thing. <laughs> where I can use the pencil eraser. Okay, defeated Mighty Bear 7. Okay, I keep forgetting that doesn't work on Cave Boy. And the Cave Boy, he's like this big. How can you miss him? How can he dodge your attacks? He's ginormous. Anyway. So I don't know where this little pencil eraser thing is, but. I don't know. First things first, let's take care of some story stuff. Oh, Ness! Jeff, what's his bit? Okay, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I did find something out. I finished remodeling the Skyrunner. You can leave for summers whenever you wish. It shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. Okay, but first we must heal. Okay, where is this statue that I keep hearing about? There's an eraser statue. We don't have an eraser eraser. Um, 
said to the east of the cave. But which cave? No, stay away, bear. Sorry, I'm just gonna check this real quick. I don't see a pencil. Where is it? To the east of this cave, where we first... I don't want to deal with this, do I? I don't know. Let's, let's go. Let's try to make our way out of this cave, I guess. This could be a huge mistake. I don't even, but at least we can walk through this cave without the enemies attacking us, so that's good. We'll try it. And then if, if the statue's not there, then, oops. If the statue's not there, I'll just cut back to the lab. Okay. I might have already, no, okay, there, there it is. Okay, good. So this gives us a shortcut, I believe. Let's see. So even though we have that eraser statue, which is strange, I guess there's... Oh, dang it. I guess we won't be able to use... Um, we won't be able to... What was I saying? We don't need the, pen the pencil eraser anymore. Even though, so because there's no more pencil statues, supposedly. However, there are, there is that eraser statue. I don't know how I'm supposed to get rid of that, but oh well. I guess, I guess we will just have to not worry about that for now. We should worry, however, about these annoying guys. So. Oh no, not a cold. I have some cold medicine from Escargo Express, so I should take care of that. But first, let's try to finish off this robo. Freaking cold. Can I use healing? I'm pretty sure I can't, but I have this. I might as well try it. Yeah, okay, good. Healing Beta, I guess, heals a cold. I believe I tried healing Alpha before. Did healing Alpha heal a cold? Maybe it did, too. I don't know. Anyway, all I know is we don't need the pencil eraser anymore, so it was good to get that out of the way. We can just kind of deposit it with Escargo Express and then always keep that inventory slot open. All right, and then that'll be it, I guess. We'll we'll take the thing over to we'll take the flying whatever the name is I forget now, over to Summers, and then we'll call it a day. So yeah, this oh it's a butterfly. I was like, what's that glowy thing? Okay, so yeah, this episode actually I'm not sure how long the actual meat of the episode has been because I had to cut away some of it, but I think it's been plenty long. We can. Just avoid these guys here. Yeah. I guess we can't. Alright, I'll have to do one more fight with these. Okay, that doesn't work on them, so... I'm just gonna bash the bear. Let's try Freeze Gamma on the cave boy. Only 32 damage. Well, that stinks. I guess he'd be resistant to cold, seeing as he lives in ice or whatever. So I'm just gonna spam bash. <sighs> Darn it, cave boy. And he keeps lowering all of our stats. Alright. Okay, enough of this. I am so over it. First we're gonna heal, then we're gonna Escargo Express, and then we're gonna go somewhere. To Summers. Hopefully. Unless there's more detours. I don't think there will be. Hopefully. Okay, hi Escargo Express. Yes, I want you to take stuff from me. Come on, delivery guy. 
All right, yeah. Take stuff. Um, I don't know if I want him to take anything else, but let's take a look. Don't need the Magnum Air Gun. And I guess the Laser Gun. I could sell those too, but oh well. I'll just have him take them. I'm fine with that. Okay, bye. All right. And now the finale of this episode. We're gonna go on a spaceship. Or are we? Are we? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. The Skyrunner. This is the Skyrunner, right? Oh, we just walk inside of it. Okay. That works. Bye, Mr. And Donuts. Dr. And Donuts. Sorry, I must give you your proper title. Bye, Dr. Jeff's dad. Okay. music. Okay, and we're landing. You know what I just realized, though? Landing in summers, and we crashed, and we have no place to save. Although that's not necessarily a problem, because on the virtual console I can create a restore point. It's really not an issue. I still probably sh should have saved, maybe just in case, but... Um... I don't know. Let's just walk around real quick and see if there's a place, a building nearby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're in a city. That says hotel, as a matter of fact, so this place is kind of cool, kind of resort-like. Alright, so can I climb up any of these stairs? There we go. So this says hotel. Where's the hotel? There it is. All right, sign, you were slightly misleading. Oh, hi, sign. All right, guess we're not quite done yet, are we? Okay, good, we dodged. All right, let's just bash it. Okay. And they left a present, a big bottle rocket. Okay, well, I should give that over to Jeff. I'm, I want this, ep this episode. It's like every time I'm like, okay, I'm gonna end this Earthbound episode now. It's like, no, something comes along. Reason why you can't. Oh, hi, photo guy. I guess because I restarted my save, the photo guy wants to come back. Um, but it's gonna be two for this episode. Fuzzy pickles! All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's stay in the hotel. Blah, blah, blah. Fancy, fancy. Oh, man. Get more and more expensive. And fix the broken pipe. And got, got a shield killer. Okay. Well, all right. Well, that was fairly unnecessary stay in the hotel, to be honest, because we just had to fight that stupid random pipe, pipe sign. But yeah, we're gonna go down and save, hopefully. How big is this place? Man, summer, as you can tell, is a big touristy area. Okay, we're gonna finally finish this episode. I'm just gonna save just because to make sure. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alright guys, so if you liked this video, please feel free to leave a like. Also, subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date when my latest videos come out. Also, if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can like my page on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. The links are in the description. 
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my playthrough of Earthbound.